<laughs> Let's oh. see who can find a clover first. They bring oh. good luck. Mm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Stop! Mm. Dr. Hoot? Mm. That's a poisonous plant. You better not touch it. Poisonous? I'll tell you. Oh. Let knowledge clear. This is a poison ivy plant. It makes an oil that can make your skin very itchy. It's called erushio, a strong allergy oil. Just Ooh. a little touch and it sticks <laughs> to your skin, making your body react right away. Your body thinks Urushio is an enemy, so it fights back hard. It sends out chemicals called cytokines, like tiny bombs, to attack intruders. But the fight makes your skin red, itchy, and swollen. Scratching only makes it worse. It can spread to other spots. And it's not just poison ivy. Poison oak and poison sumac are also dangerous. If you see a plant with three leaves close together, stay away. Then what should we do if we touch it? If you touch one, wash with soap and water in first 10 minutes. Oh. Don't scratch, don't use hot water, and wash your clothes too. Oh. The oil will stick to them. Mm. Uh -huh. Now I know! If I see three leaves, I'll stay away! Good job, Wudu! Oh. <laughs> That's all for now. Hmm. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow. <laughs> hmm. oh. Oh. This tree looks like a mouth, <laughs> Wufu. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> a monster tree! It's not a monster. It's a Venus flytrap. But oh. does it bite us? I'll tell you what it is. Let knowledge click. Did you know? Every plant needs food from the ground to grow. Just like you need food every day. But this Venus flytrap lives in swampy places where the soy has almost no food. So, it came up with a super smart idea. It catches bugs like flies, ants, and mosquitoes to eat. Instead of just growing leaves and flowers, it has traps that look like mouths. Inside the plant's mouth, there are tiny little hairs. When a fly or an ant touches them for a few seconds, the plant knows, aha, that's real food. Right away, the trap snaps shut super fast. The bird gets stuck inside and the plant releases special digestive juices. After a few days, it soaks up all the nutrients and gently opens again, ready for its next meal. It might look scary, but the oh. Venus flytrap only oh. eats tiny bugs, not uh. people. <gasps> Besides oh. the Venus flytrap, did you know there are around 700 kinds of carnivorous oh. plants in the world? <laughs> Take this pitcher plant, for example. It gives up a sweet smell to lure insects, <laughs> then ah. snaps its lid shut. And this is the sundew plant. Its leaves are super sticky. When a bug touches them, they curl up right away. Bladder word. This plant has tiny bubbles called bladders. When a little bug swims by, the bubble sucks it in and the plant eats it. That's it for today. Join oh. Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes. Oh no! The eggs 
exhibits are coming to life. No, no, they're just statues. Oh! Who are they? Why are they dressed so funny? <laughs> These are early humans from the Stone Age. Oh. I'll tell you all. Let knowledge clear. The Stone Age was long ago, when people lived completely with nature. If you lived oh. back then, everything would be so different. <laughs> oh. Back then, people wow. built homes with branches or lived in caves. So, do you know what they did when they were hungry? They cook yummy meals. They order food from their place. Ooh, wow. They had to find wire food uh -huh. and catch animals <laughs> oh, themselves. Hmm? They ordered food. No. Uh -huh. This oh. is what they did. <laughs> oh. 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 Every day. They had to find their own food, hunting animals, picking fruits. Oh, huh? And catching fish. Sometimes there were dangers too, like meeting wild animals. Uh oh. Mm hmm. Oh. oh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 They use stones to make mm -hmm. axes, knives, spears, and other tools. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Discovering fire was an important step. Oh! <laughs> they use fire to cook food and keep warm. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> mm -hmm. uh oh! <sighs> they wore animal skins and painted on cave walls. Mm to tell stories, ah. even wow. without phones or modern <laughs> machines. They were very smart wow. and creative Ooh. to survive. <laughs> we got it! That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> it wouldn't grow oh. into a tree, oh. Wufu. You wanna know why? Let knowledge click. A watermelon seed needs soil, water, and sunlight in order to sprout and grow into a plant. Oh. On the other hand, the stomach lacks the conditions needed for a seed to sprout. If the watermelon seed doesn't mm. grow, what will happen to it? <laughs> the substances in your stomach will help push it out within about three days, along with other food. seeds as I want, right? Hmm. One or two seeds won't hurt, hmm. but swallowing too many could make you choke or even have stomach ache. Once you eat watermelon, make sure to spit out the seeds <laughs> to stay safe, okay? Yes. Huh?
That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. <laughs>